Hello internet and hello boy. <laughs> right, something a little different today. We're working on the boys BMW. And uh, yes, we're gonna we're gonna need that <laughs> locking wheel nuts. Um right today it is the brakes, so the brakes all the way around, front and back, new discs, new pads, and quickly changing a fog light as well. Um that one's failed just in there. So while we've got the wheel off, just gonna do that as well. So it's jack it up, wheels off, brakes done. Easy as, yeah? Simple. Simples. <laughs> right, let's go for it. There you go, we're chopped up, jacked up. All we've got to do now is just, no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> um, wheels off then, got all the air tools. <sighs> got everything we need, hopefully. We've got it sorted. We'll soon find out. Let's do it. <laughs> oh no, the boy's got a socket in his hand. <laughs> and he's got a, an, an impact drill by his side. Oh, it's going to only mean trouble. It's German, so it's going to have a 12 mil. Of course. <laughs> What's the bet? What are we? 10s, 12s, 17s, 19s. That's all you need. No. Take the whole car to bits. <laughs> um, these might be special bits. <laughs> ah, do you want me to have a look? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> There you go, stage one, calipers off. Uh, the bolts are these horrible U16, 14s, something like that. Yeah, these horrible star things. Don't like them, but um, that's what BMW use. So there you go, right. So disc off, and then we're going to get into the fog light as well, which is why I've got the uh, spotlight down here to try and, uh, yeah, get that plug off and get the spotlight out. Hey, look, we've got the fog light that works. Right, chuck it in there. <laughs> fog light in, just there. Discs. I've got to do this with one hand, these are heavy. Ugh, hold on. Yeah, there we go. One disc off. Yes, it was a little bit lipped. And ready for changing, without a doubt. I don't want to drop it on the block pavings it'll make a mess so we'll do it on the council's block paving there we go and a new one shiny right let's get it on there you go a little bit of cleanup get them all nice and fresh and flat and then we'll get a little bit of the old uh, copper on there yeah i know people go well you don't need that stuff on there but look bmw put it on there so i'm going to put it on there there you go the copper grease on right let's get that disc on there you go, one disc on, one bolt in. That was a pain in the backside. They all started to get out, but there you go, one on. So, uh, yep, yeah. let's get the pads changed and get it all slapped back together. Right, caliper on, pins out. To get the pins out, it's just hammer something in there. I used a screw that I can't find now because there's loads of stuff here. Where's he gone? Anyway, take my word for it. The screw went in there, give it a little bit of a tappy tap tappy, I can see it, it's a screw, there you go. So a little bit of a tappy 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 in there, and then pins, which are here, basically, there you go, they just slide out like that. And then, in theory, your brake pads, ba-ding, come straight out. There's still some meat on those. That. Right, let's get on with it, losing the light. One side, complete. And rinse and repeat. Okay, so disc off and new disc on. Uh, just give you an idea of the pins. This is what I mean. Uh, these pins just basically slot through there. Uh, it's a very strange old design. Um, these sort of things were on Fords when we were working on cars. Well, when I was working on cars 30 odd years ago in the garage. But um, yeah, there you go. BMW still used them. So make it a little easier on yourself. Yep. Clean your pins up before you put them back in, and a little bit of the uh, copper grease. There you go. Just the uh, the lightest of covering. That's all you need. It makes it easier when you go and change them again. Now don't forget on these as well. In fact, I'll take it out. Let me be kind to you. There is a wear limit, and these just basically pull straight off. You just grab them there, or get a little bit of um, something, a little flathead screwdriver, under there, like that, and just prise them off, just like that, and they clip back in again. You can reuse them. 
BMW say change them, but you can reuse them as long as they're not obviously past your wear limit and then they won't work because it basically grinds the top of that off and shorts it out. But there you go, don't forget your, your wear limits. And there you go, pins back in, all nice and secure. Uh, they go basically, I hope you can see this, the light's not great. They go under those clamps there and that holds them in tight. Um, your wire for your wear limit basically is a box just here and it clips into that and then it feeds through one there one there and one on the back of your pad as well so yeah basically in the box one clip up there i'll say one clip just there and there's another one somewhere here and i'll find it in a minute ah, we're all good all clipped in yeah last clip was there <laughs> forgot to mention that one right um it's now over to you that must mean pizza time then Pizza time? Oh yeah, we've got pizza delivered, haven't we? Oh bugger. Right, pizza time and you can get the wheels on. Yeah. Done. There, would you look at that? Look. Shiny. And another shiny wheel. Shiny. Shiny. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're losing light, so um, I think this will be part one. Part two will be the back brakes and then um, an oil change. Oil change. Right. But part one, there you go, front brakes on a 335D, also known as an M3, <laughs> because it's got M3 brakes. GT. GT. <laughs> X-Drive. M. Coupe. Not Coupe. All the other stuff that goes with it. Right, that'll do for now. Cheers, YouTube. Say bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.